Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to go over how to do geometry for a completely blind student and or low vision. They'll be able to actually see what they're doing, but a blind student can do all of this also. I'm not going to have my talking software on as I've got feedback that people find it confusing to hear the talking software and give me directions at the same time. So I'll actually give you the commands as I'm moving through. So using Excel is phenomenal for any aspect of math. I highly suggest having a Braille display, uh, also especially for math. Um, so Excel offers you an, an infinite amount of options on what you can do. Right now, I've actually put the data in. So I, what I want you to do is Control Home. And Control Home always gets you to the very top of the left-hand corner of any page, but in Excel, it's A1. So I'm gonna go ahead and control one. And it would read for, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the numbers that I'm using to create this uh, particular graph. And it's going to be a mirror image of, um, of a polynomial. So in A, it is uh, four. And then I, of course I would hit enter and I would type in six, enter eight, enter two, enter four. Now, if you need two shapes, you must put a space in between your items. So there's a literally going to be a polynomial uh, above. It's going to be a mirror image. It's going to be actually a flipped image. Um, and then below it is going to be another shape. And you can do this with any geometric shape. You just need to remember to uh, have a space between your shapes. So you have two separate shapes. If you only want one, then you of course only need the top one. So uh, I'm gonna hit enter again and it's going to say space and then enter and it's gonna say four, uh, then enter six, enter eight, enter two, enter four. Okay, so I have basically my column A done. So I'm gonna control home back to the top and I'm going to right arrow to B. And now I'm going to select the other options. Now I'm already gonna tell you, this is, you know, the kids have uh, all this work in Word. They have to figure out, of course, the X and the Y first. So this is all the math that has done uh, in Word. And then they come to Excel and they create the design and then they're gonna copy it and paste it back into Word for the image that they need to uh, put out. So if you're asking, oh, where'd I get those numbers? It's from a math formula, okay? Uh, so B is negative one and I hit enter and I'm going to move down B, negative one again, negative six, enter, negative six, enter, negative one. Uh, once again, I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna be a space. Enter again and three, enter three, enter eight, enter eight, enter three. Now, after you type in all of your numbers, remember this was created from the math problem you did in your geometry class, you're going to control home. And now I need to select this data and I'm going to hold, sit on my shift and hold it down and right arrow and then I'm going to go down to 11 because that was where uh, my talking software told me I had ended. Once again, when you're using your talking software, you'll hear this. I'm going to insert a uh, line with marker graph that's going to be used off my insert menu with Alt N. And then I'm gonna hit D. Now I already know this, I already know my column is C and B for bar and pie graph is Q and D is for lines and markers because all my students use Excel a lot because all of them are taking math. So I'm gonna hit D and I'm going to go down to lines and markers and I'm gonna hit enter. Well, if you're visual, you're immediately seeing this just incredibly beautiful uh, two uh, geometric shape, they're flipped. Uh, and we need to go ahead and add titles to this. So as soon as you insert any image, and this is true in all office, two or three or whatever, more tabs open up in your menu. Well, for Excel, two more open. And if you hit your Alt key, it's going to say design, uh, and it's actually going to tell you JC design and format is JA. So any additional new tab, once again, in all Office products, it begins with the letter C. It's a two letter um, combination to get and open that. So I'm gonna hit JC for design, JC. 
And I want to go to Add Chart Elements, and I'm going to do that with the letter A, and I hit A. So what I'm going to do is, if I wanted to add axis titles, I could, but the only thing I really want to do here is add a chart title. If you go down that Add Chart Element option, you're going to see a lot of options there. But I'm just going to go ahead and go down arrow to Chart Title. I could do C if I wanted to, which would be a lot faster. Right arrow, and I want it above my chart. So I'm going to right arrow, down arrow to Above Chart, and I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm just going to say Polys, and keep it easy, and Enter. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hit Escape one time. Uh, to get out of my title, and then I'm going to copy it, Control C, and then I'm going to open Word and uh, paste right there. And so, of course, you're doing the math problem, you're pasting it. Now, I'm going to tell you, I want you to keep this as a picture object because what my students do is they already have all this laid out, so then they just go back and they start changing numbers uh, and it will change the graph. So, I want you to hit your Control key. And you're going to right arrow and it's going to tell you uh, to keep picture only and you hit enter and it imprints a perfect picture. Now if you keep source, what it will literally do is change with it. So I'm going to just show you how this uh, works. I'm going to hit escape completely out of my uh, graph. I'm going to go back to my numbers. I'm just going to start playing with my numbers and if you're visual, you'll actually see the lines move around. So let's just put two here so you can see how hilarious it is. Yeah, and so your polynomial uh, gets messed up mighty fast because of course that's not the correct formula. If I was to um, copy and paste this back into Word, that literally would be changing in Word also. Now the next issue is when you lose focus of that graph, how do you re-access that image, and that's with a control G, you can think graphic, Alt S for special, and Alt B for object, and enter, and it reselects the graph. So I'm going to see you, uh, I'm going to show you how this changes. So copy, Alt Tab back to Word, control end, always control end before you do anything, always hit enter at least twice before you um, paste a graph, otherwise uh, the graph will merge. Okay, so here's my funny, funny looking graph. I'm not gonna to touch anything on it. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my Excel. I'm going to escape out of my graph and I'm going to uh, mess up another uh, line. Let's go ahead and just put four there and enter and it moves it even more and I'm gonna go back there. Oh, look at there and it has changed. So if you do not save it as picture, it literally will move all your graphs. And of course my students figure this out very, very fast. Uh, you know, they use the same uh, setup and they go back and they start changing these and they're not, of course, paying attention to what's going on up above and they're above graphs and all of them are actually changed to the very last graph they do. But we learn more from our failures than our successes and let me tell you that only needs to happen once and then they remember to keep it as a picture. Okay, and that is how you do geometry, and of course, all geometry, any math works in Excel, just fantastic. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and see you on your next lesson.